Hey everyone, it's Alan Peng from the APENG18. Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays. Welcome to the APENG18 channel. If you guys are new to our channel, and if you're not, welcome to the APENG18. So today's video, it's about Christmas documentary Q&A video. This time I got a, some questions about Christmas because um, I know you guys are excited for Christmas Day. So let's move on to the question. Our first question comes from Edonimo Fourth, and he is asked, I hope I'm not late here, but here's my two questions. Did you have a previous Q&A before this one? If so, please share the link. And what is your favorite video you've ever done so far on your channel? Well, Edo Numa Fourth, um, I didn't have any previous Q and A videos for my channel before your Q and A Thanksgiving Part Two, and my favorite video that I've done so far for my channel is the Mara wants ice cream in the reversal, and some other videos that I've done so far for my channel from last year. So that's a good question. Our second question comes from Don Carlton and he is asked, do you celebrate Hanukkah? Well, Don, um, not exactly. I don't celebrate Hanukkah because I don't have a menorah at home in Florida and I'm not Jewish. Also, Hanukkah relates to Jewish. It's a lesser Jewish festival lasting eight days from the 25th of Kislev. Our next question comes from Christopher, and he's asked us, which country did eggnog come from? So I would say eggnog came from England because it's a British European drink, which it debates its exact lineage. Most, I agree, eggnog originated from the early medieval Britain posset or hot milky alley drink. You know, I, I haven't tried eggnog. Um, it's more like dessert drink and food. Eggnog is made with milk, vanilla, cream, cinnamon, and sugar. Sometimes they mixed eggnog with alcohol, but without alcohol is okay. It's pretty good. There's no arf artificial flavor. Even they have eggnog ice cream and other eggnog dessert foods. So I can try it another day or next year. Our next question comes from Digger the Dolphin, and he's asked, in Home Alone, where are the McAllisters going on vacation when they leave Kevin behind? That's a good question, Digger. Um, I remembered in Home Alone that Kevin's family left home from Chicago and went to a Christmas vacation to Paris that they forgot Kevin after Kevin's boarding pass got ruined by spilling milk during a family pizza dinner party. Kevin's boarding pass is already destroyed. That's why Kevin didn't go to Paris. I have been to Paris to visit with someone when I was in fifth grade, and I really enjoyed Paris. What else could we be forgetting? Kevin! Another thing is Mitch Murphy is, the, is one of McAllister's neighbors that impersonates to be Kevin when he turned away from Heather to check the suitcase to make sure they have everything to go to Paris. How could we do this? We forgot him. He tells the McAllisters to have a good trip to, and to bring him back something French and returns home so that he can go with his own family on their trip to Orlando, Florida. What kind of mother am I? 
The next question comes from Splash McLean, and he's asked us, what is your favorite Christmas food? So my favorite Christmas food is shepherd's pie, green beans, cranberries, turkey, pumpkin pie, and Christmas cookies. Those are delicious. I love that. So our next question comes from non-Disney characters, and it is given to us. What is your favorite Christmas movies? Well, guys, my favorite Christmas movies would be Home Alone 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, Elf, um, A Christmas Story, Deck the Halls, Are We There Yet, and Snow 2, Brain Freeze. I pretty much enjoyed watching those movies. Somewhat funny. Our next question comes from Kier Donlio, and he's asked us, is Nightmare Before Christmas a Christmas movie? Well, Nightmare Before Christmas is not only a Christmas movie, it's also a Halloween movie because they released in 1993, it got Halloween characters in it, so The Nightmare Before Christmas is both Halloween and Christmas movie. The next question comes from HBM, and he's asked, do you believe Christmas is a Christian holiday? Well, Christmas was traditionally a Christian festival celebrating the birth of Jesus, but in the early 20th century, it also became a secular family holiday observed by Christians and non-Christians alike. Christmas certainly is a Christian celebration. However, the date of December 25th was selected um, because um, it was when the Romans celebrated Saturnalia, and that in the eyes of the ancient church made Christianity an easier sell. So probably it's both and isn't a Christian holiday. So our last question comes from Tyne Chuganir, and she's asked us, how long is your broadcast Christmas show you recently made at Full Sail in Broadcast Production 2? When I did a broadcast Christmas final show project in lab class, we had to use skills like in Broadcast Production 1 to explore the various roles through work performed when I did the camera operator. Each tree is decorated with Disney movies such as Toy Story, Haunted Mansion, Frozen, The Lion King, and many, many more. Now, personally, I'm excited to go see the Frozen tr theme tree because Olaf, that is my favorite character. Um, yeah, I'm bad at these. The movie, right. The movie with Chris Brown. <laughs> it's Christmas. <laughs> Unfortunately, you get, didn't get a prize, but I will give you a candy cane for at least trying. And this one is regular flavor. A three-legged dog walks into a bar and says to the bartender, I'm looking for the man who shot my paw. And the winner is the red team. <laughs> I'm sorry. They really slayed it. That was absolutely really? tremendous. And you snow the drill. We'll see you when we come back after this short break. So it's about 30 minute live show. That's what my instructor instructor said. I enjoyed it. It's pretty easy class. So I think that's all the questions that everyone asked. So I guess we're done. All right, thanks for watching. Just wanna let you know to please subscribe to my YouTube channel, smash that like button, share, comment, and hit the notification bell. We're gonna to try to do a really good job this year. You can 
also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and LinkedIn. You can also check out my portfolio website for more information. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So we will see you next time. Adios. I'm okay. I hope you're not late here, but here's my, I mean, how long is your broadcast production? Thank you guys for asking those Christmas questions. The shout outs not only goes to Don Carlton, non Disney characters, Christopher, Time Chuganeer, and HBM, but it also goes to Anna Polo, a new subscriber, Resort TV One, Super Nanny Joe Frost. Roland the Rhino, Columbia TriStar Television, Nanny911, Ouch, Angry Priest, Mr. Grumpfish, I Want My Mommy from Kramer vs. Kramer, Robert Shane Burns, Alan Maroka from Sesame Street, Little Girl Throwing Tantrum, Darko Paver, Myram Garcia, and of course, Eddie Hughes the Force sister, Gada Fari. Coming up next, the Apang 18. We'll be right back. Keep it here.